Welcome back ladies and gents to uh, starting a new shop. This one would be episode 5 and today uh, the customer has already dropped it off but it is a Bolt Hornet 1996 aka Gen 4 Camaro. Now let's take a peek see and see what it needs. It needs automatically we can tell it needs brake pads. Uh, it needs a new front bumper. Uh, we've got to change and, drill the, change and drain the oil. Then we also need to add some windshield washer fluid to it. So let's start by bringing this into the shop. Car lift A. Let's take a little peek -see. Take a little picture of it. And uh, yeah. Let's, let's start working on it. Let's put her up in the air and drain the oil. Actually, before we do that, let's try to compression test it. Let's see if we need anything internally. Mm, it doesn't look like it. Could be wrong, though. Alright, we need a camshaft. I wonder which one it is. And now let's also check the OBD scanner, see if we can figure anything else out it needs. Just takes a minute. Alright, we need four spark plugs. No, we need five spark plugs, three coils, and yeah. So this time, what I'm thinking, and it also looks like it needs a fuel rail. It needs an oil filter, that's for sure. Uh, let's do the examination part of the motor. Let's see if we can figure out anything else it needs. Oh, there's a lot of parts on this motor. Do oh, can't do the fuel rail. I'm guessing not. What about the air filter? How's everything going here? And the air filter is orange, but it should be manageable. Okay, back up out of here. See if we picked anything else up. Camshaft, ignition coil, spark plugs, timing belt. That's always good to know. Which means we've got to yank the whole front of the motor up. Okay, now do I have. Let's just click on this motor here for a minute. Do I have. Yes, I do. Let's check the electronics of it. See how, if we need anything from there. No, everything looks like it's only up and up. Alright. But, now we have a little bit of extra cash. What I think we're going to do now is I think we're actually... Oh, I got available points to add. So let's see. We only have two. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to do this one. Help examine parts a little faster. But since we're in here, I'm also... Guess what we're buying? we're getting the new tablet awesome all right so we need spark plugs coils I I gotta take this off I need to see yeah see new little rail I might as well take this off too oops wrong one there we go Yeah, 
here's the one bad coil for this side new plugs so we're going to get all eight coils and we're going to get all eight plugs because this one right here can get a little little tricky two bad plugs for here that's okay because we're going to replace them there's the timing belts are no good so but like I said we're going to be replacing all eight coils all eight plugs and a few, hey look at that we can do this now with our tablet so we're going to run down here for electronics I'm going to go over to coils that's going to be a little bit pricey yes but it'll be worth it in the end. We now eight spark plugs. That's six dollars a pop plus my five percent discount. Yeah, we save eight dollars. Now we go over here to car parts engine, and then we keep a cruising. Oh wait, we need a camshaft. I already said we needed one. Just gotta find it. There it is, camshaft V8 right here. Need one of them, and we've also said we needed a timing belt, which is all. Oh wait, may as well get the fuel rail since we're right here. Just gotta find it. Fuel rail DI, which I'm sure it's here somewhere. I just can't see it. Huh. What are you? Am I missing it or? Yeah, there it is, wrong page. Hello. Need one of them. We're going to need a new oil filter, I can promise you that. And let's keep a cruising, keep a cruising. Let me get back here to timing belts. Timing belt V8. I need two of them. Alright. Now, since we're here, may as well finish ripping up the bottom, the front side of the motor. Now, to get this one belt off, which is the outside belt, you need to take this pulley off. But, because the entire front assembly has to come off to change the timing chain, or timing belt, may as well rip off. Uh, all these coils and all the head cover because they're bolted but right here uh, I won't let me show you there's a bolt in the top left corner there of the head cover next to the intake it bolts in Right about in here somewhere. And guess what? Here's our bad camshaft. Glad we found that. I'll pull the plugs. Now we've got to finish rip. I may as well drain the coolant since we're here. That really does not sound too healthy. Oh, back in. My bad. And then now we need to take the belt tensioner off, which is right here. And we've got to get this belt off. Well, we don't need to take the power steering pump off. I don't. I don't believe so. And if we do, we're going to get hit with a fifty-dollar bill. If I didn't drain it. Oops. I got the water pump pulley. I have a stuck bolt, so we'll spray through the rod. Pick off the bottom idler B. 
Looks like all the idler pulleys are in good shape. Well, I believe we can take this front cover off now. All four bolts. And you got to start off in the driver's side timing belt first to come off. Gears look to be in good shape. Doesn't mean they are, but they look like they're in good shape. So we shall take off this one cam gear, pull out the camshaft, and start installing it. And start installing the parts. Now, word to the wise: if you ever do one of these motors for the like Hemi's or something like that. Put the spark plugs in first before the head cover goes on and make your life a lot easier. Since we're right here, I'm going to throw the new fuel rail in. Something's telling me that the other one needs to be replaced too. Could be wrong, but... I'll we'll run over to the other side. Install these four plugs. Time consuming right now. The stats are so low. Awesome. Put the timing belt on V8. Do the other side. And then they're going to ask you, uh, you're going to have to put the front cover on first. Because like I said, the heck, see this bolt hole right here? This is where the bolts into the heck, to the timing cover here. needs to be replaced. I could be wrong, but you never know. Water pump. We'll save the belt for last. And I believe it's six B's and three A's. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Pulley on. Belt A. Oh, belt B. Pardon me, I was wrong. Belt tensioner. Keep it in place so it doesn't slide off on us. Belt A. And now we gotta put the idler arm A. Or idler pulley A. Now when it comes to these, the head covers. If it was a supercharged motor, you put the driver's side on first because that way then you can put the throttle body on and stuff like that because it overhangs the head cover. And there's a lot of bolts. Now we put on the coils. Eight new ones. Coil cover on. Now work our way over to the other side. Starting with the head cover, put that on. Awesome. Coil cover now. 
awesome. Let's see what we got. We got we got to do the brake pads, and we got a few other parts here that are unattended for. So. Do it the easy way and examine everything before we start jumping into it. So this will give us a heads up on if anything else needs to be replaced. The cross member, sway bar. Oh, well, let me do the rad. It's telling me we're going to have some parts in the rear to replace. skilled I can reach from here probably some u-bolts yeah all four u-bolts ooh good ooh we got that backing plates Okay. Alrighty. Gotta bring solid axle controller and solid drive axle. Wheel hub three. Hmm. Alright. So let's start on this side. Five hours later we'll be able to get the U the bolts out for the tire. Alright, this is the side right here that's gonna have to replace the U bolts. Or, um, we need all, all three U bolts and the spring caps. Alright, over the suspension. Let's cruise through. We need, uh, we need one of these, one of these. Oop, two of those. Um, there's a change of bushings too. Since they're in there, and we need a wheel hub three. And we need four pads, possibly calipers too. We'll wait and see. Now, since we're here, let's just do a quick examination here. Make sure. Okay. Let's pull the pads off. We're gonna have to pull the rotor off. Yeah, she's looking pretty crummy. That's for sure. And what we could also do is take out this bushing. We'll replace that right now. And if we go look at the list of everything that needs to be done, rubber bushing. Alright, now we're going to put in the axle. Okay, look, craptacular, that's for sure. Now, the rotor, or brake disc, as they call it. Z pads and the caliper, brake caliper and the, and the brake sil caliper cylinder. We're gonna wait on the wheel for a minute because we're gonna also take this off too. Let's get this all done and over with, right? Since we're over here. Yeah, I may as well put the wheel on too. Now over to the other side. We'll start right here. Taking the spring cap. Pick up the rear spring. Pick up the other spring cap. Caliper, brake pad. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa. Hey there, Betsy. Pad, rotor, because we gotta do the wheel hub three. 
I'll take the drive axle out of this side. Awesome. And this one, we're going to just take out for now because we've got to change that arm. However, what I'm planning on doing now is putting this entirely back together. Now how many other parts do we need to figure out? One, two, three, four, five. Five parts. Something's telling me they're all breaking issues. Get it? <laughs> We've done this, we're going to put the car up in the air and finish the rear. This will start on this side. Pull up the hue bolt. Stubborn. Replace the U-bolt now, which is something I don't have. I knew there was something up here I needed. Now, what are the odds may have to be replacing the spring plate for the other side? Who knows? Until we get over there, right? No, the spring plate actually looks to be in good shape. Ooh, we're gonna, oh, we'll do that when we're done. Put when we're done with everything else. I'm saying the cap, the shock absorber cap, and the uh, spring. Alright, bye bye, junk parts. Out with the old, in with the new. Spring plate. What's that, like 80%? New bolts. Now we're going to go up here to the cap, the spring, and the shock, shock absorber cap, the rear one. Alright, pretty much almost finished for that. We're going to put a bushing in on this side. Front wheel hub, huh? Well, that's interesting. Any guesses on which one it is? Alright, let's go to the front. Uh, well, it's not going to be that side. It's not going to be this side, but... But we're going to have to replace one of them anyway. And I know we got to do the brakes, well, brake pads. What's the wheel bearing look like? Why is it doing this to me? And I don't think it needs to be replaced. I could be mistaken, but let's just pull this cap off just to double check. No, nope, looks to be in good shape. In the pad, the caliper and cylinder. Put the wheel back on. Oh, if I had to guess, we're going to need new bushings. If I had to guess, so we'll start here. side okay three rubber bushings now we only got two parts that are not discovered and this part right here is not discovered So 
through. I've only got one part that's not discovered. Ooh, we need four bushings. And I know I already bought the oil filter. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. the wheel bearing on this side might be bad nope hmm but we gotta take the calipers the rotor and now we can get the wheel bearing off I need to purchase one of them because I never bought one after this Cap, the rotor, the ca pads, and the caliper and cylinder. Oh, we put the wheel back on. Yay! Awesome. What's left? Three rubber bushings, oil filter, and one part not discovered. I wonder what part that could be. Hmm. Move our camera angle around. And that way, then we can also put the oil filter on. Tie rods look to be good. Spray bar end link look to be good. Let's zoom over to this side. And we got the back one to put in. Hmm. Part not discovered. I wonder what it is. Any guesses? test, didn't I? Oh, wrong one. This one. Hmm. Well, let's lower it back down. You check the fuel pump, right? Yeah, the fuel pump's good. Alright, let's, uh, Zing it back down. And I think I'm going to run an electronics test on it because I don't think I did. Oh, yes, I did. My XP didn't go up. Uh, what are the odds? But why didn't it tell? Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Check out the drive shaft. That's good. Exhaust. That's good. The other side. Actually looks to be not bad at all. What the front ones? 
Oh, very good. Huh. I wonder, I wonder what it could be. I ran all my tests on it, didn't I? Think it's this? Let's check and see. Nope, not it. I wonder if it could be the intake. So it was, no. Huh. I think that's just messed up, eh? I'll put the good one in on this side where it needs to go. Put the used one in on this side where it goes. And we'll put the throttle body back on here. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Could it be? Nope. There it is, right there, that bushing. Which means the car's got to go back up in the air again. Luckily, I don't have to take the tire off. Both bushings by the looks of it, but... Hey, eh, rubber bushing. Alright, we're gonna do the front bumper, we're gonna add oil, we're gonna refill the windshield washer fluid. We'll bring the car back down and let's go and find a bumper. Oh, right there, 350 bones. In my opinion, this, this bumper looks better. But not this one, but the other one. That's the green. Alright, now we gotta put oil in. Oh, I'm a little overboard there. Let's find the dipstick, which is way over here, buried underneath the battery, of course. What's the, what's the level? Perfect. It's at max. Awesome. I'm going to fill this up. That's good. And we're going to top off the windshield washer fluid. And I believe we is done.
Done, done, done. Look at that. Awesome. Drop the hood down. Bring her outside. Just take a little gander at it. Beautiful. And now let's have the customer. Let's have the customer come pick it up, shall we? Awesome. Well, should we bring the next one in? Actually, let's go take a look and upgrade our stuff since we leveled up again. Ooh, this time we got three. So, what we could do, and I think I'm going to do, is get the wheels, or get the taking bolts on and off. We're going to get that done faster. There we go. We used up all three in the one. And, uh, yeah, let's get the other car, let's get the next car here. And this shall be what is on the next episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel so I can help it grow. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Have a good night. Bye.